Taking a look at our starting goaltenders, brought to you by Pro Hockey Life. There you see Peter Morasic starting again for the Ottawa 67, and I'd say by far their best player last weekend in that 3-3 three and three with uh, two against Belleville and one against Kingston. At the other end of the ice, it's Cody St. Jacques, the former Sault Ste. Marie Greyhound, and he's coming off a 3-2 victory last Friday night in the Sudbury for these guys. So getting the start... Cody Lindsay between Dalton Smith and Thomas Nesbitt. Carrick between Lane and Craig Moore. And underway here at the Rona Center. Nesbitt right off the bat gets it in deep. He was calling for it. There's Lindsay with Nesbitt. Nesbitt shorthanded. Scores! Shorthanded goal. Thomas Nesbitt. one nothing Ottawa. Good effort, right from the defensive zone here. The puck goes to the defenseman. And then he reads that, jumps to that half board, creates the turnover. And from there, Joe hits that play, a great good pass there to Lindsay, and a nice drive through the middle by. Thomas Nesbitt. Thomas Nesbitt. Sedlak takes a look, gets it to Toffoli. Here's Toffoli. Toffoli scores! Tyler Toffoli. 26th goal of the, league, the year, it's 2-0 Ottawa. Well, as the play is down deep in his zone, Todd Tafoli goes across that far blue line looking for an option, opening to get a pass. Both goals the very same. To the backhand, just a little flip shot. Seconds of the period. And here's Nesbitt. Trying to get it out front. Could say Jacques. Poked it away, shot scores! With .9 seconds to go. Three, nothing, Ottawa. The first thing Travis Gibbons actually scored was he looked back at the clock to see how much time was left. Good effort there again. Brampton's getting beat tonight by the second effort by the 67. They've only given up five shots, but there, you see, second chance, turns around over his left shoulder as the play develops here, looks up the clock after he shoots. Good fall by Gibbons, right there looking at that clock. Well, a power play goal, a shorthanded marker, and even strength for the Ottawa 67s. And a 3 nothing lead on five shots. And that goes off of a the side of the net. Here's the two-on-one shorthanded. Prince and Toffoli. And Toffoli scores! 4-0 Ottawa. The second shorthanded goal of this game. Yeah, when your power play is not clicking, never a good idea to have a shorthanded goal scored against Jeff. Chris gets the tenth coming up. Four Battalion players below the half marks on that quick play of net makes this chance right here available. The difference in that play, the last two and one Ottawa played, Ottawa had when the defense went down last time, cutting off the passing lane. There, you see he stays on his feet, tries to put, knock the puck down with his stick. Must left with the puck so you can start a breakout. All alone scores! The Brampton Battalion find the back of the net. It's a 4-1 Ottawa lead. Tansky right at the side of the net. And I think that's a perfect example of what you're talking about. Softness, not being hard the puck. Tyler Graham back here. The puck comes to sideboards. He goes easy to the puck. Just a little stick lift, and it's by him. That's lackadaisical. That's not caring enough about your defensive responsibilities and not using your body properly. Of course, one of them did go in the back of the net, and a delayed penalty now to Brampton. Scores! Thomas Nesbitt! Power play goal. 5-1 Ottawa. And once again, Cody St. Jacques not standing a chance there. No. Nice little play by Cody Lindsay. As the play goes across, 
He makes a little soft area pass. Nessa comes around here. He looks, and look how he just places the puck over there. Nessa comes out from behind the net and has a whole open side. Now, the Ottawa 67s are arguing here that Dalton Smith got cut on the play. So even though... Well, Gardwell just coming off the bench, gives it to Grayevac down low for Monaghan. Smith's in front. Gibbon shot, scores! Dalton Smith, second effort. Power play goal. 6-1 Ottawa. Well, Travis Gibbons starts to play by being patient, knowing he has an offensive coming lead on the chain, holds the puck, and a second time is right here. As Monaghan walks that seam, he creates an opening through the middle. He shows the patience, he fakes it up high, throws it through the seam for a one-timer to Gibbons, and then Smith in his... Over this Brampton Battalion Club. And the special teams came out to play for Ottawa tonight. A couple of power play goals, a couple of short-handed goals, and only 21 shots on net. <laughs> There was a, it was, wasn't a bad game. I'm, I'm sure they'd like to see their power play be a little more effective early on as far as puck moving and support. But they made up for that with, like you said, two shorthanded goals. Brampton has given up 10 this year, I think, at this point, which is a heck of a lot of goals against on their power play. It's something I'm sure these Stan Butler is going to want to address. And Ottawa outshot in the last two periods. 31-16. As you see, Thomas Nesbitt... Of the 67 saluting the crowd. We came out to enjoy the victory. The final from the Rona Center. The 67s with a 6 1 win. You're watching First Choice Haircutters Ottawa 67s hockey on Rogers TV.